a tiger financial news network tfnn headline news update Hey folks, Larry Pesavento, early morning or afternoon update here for the stock market. We still got the Dow Jones up 200, S&P's up about 16, and the Nasdaq was down about 80. It's rallied back somewhat. Uh, we also, are, most people don't count this way, but we're actually eight days from the bottom that we made back here, back on February. So let's try that again, March the 14th. And so we're, we've had a pretty good run here, uh, eight trading days. Uh, the actual statistics on that of uh, going beyond eight days is uh, doesn't happen very often, but of course it certainly does. Bonds are down, gold and silver down sharply. And uh, we have a couple of things going on in the US dollar. It's trying to hold at a really strong level, and especially with the Euro trading where it is now at 108. Uh, that's a nice uh, 382 bounce from the low that we made just a few good days ago. So that'll be the controlling factor here is to watch that U.S. dollar because if the dollar rallies, uh, that usually means uh, stronger stocks. So we'll we'll find out if that means that over the next time. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention today, uh, we just had the services for Dave uh, White, and he'll always be missed here. I'm doing his show here, but I always sell when you want to, not when you have to. And that's all part of the trading strategy that you have to have. You know when to get out, and that's really all you need to know. As a matter of fact, as soon as you put a trade on, you should actually stop watching the market. And the reason for that is the money, when you see it go by with all these clicks up and down, is not a good thing, folks. I mean, everybody thinks that's really cool, but in the long run, it, it really isn't because people see money going away. And that, that affects their thinking. And uh, Ms. Hostetter, who I was able to meet a couple times over the years back in the 70s, was really strong with that. And he didn't have computer stuff like we had now. He had a ticker tape. So he had to have a, a girl do his uh, five-minute charts off the ticker tape to see what was going on. But he didn't look at those every half hour or every hour. He just looked at them like three or four times a day. That's it. Hey, we'll take a break here. I'll be back in just a few minutes. So... 877-927-6648. 